So you're trying to get into baseball and want to watch the sport at its highest level, Major League Baseball. The thing is, you don't know the first thing about the league. Well today, we're going to go over the basics of how MLB is organized. My name is Bobby, and this is Baseball Explained. If you're at all familiar with how other North American sports leagues are organized, then the MLB will seem no different. Major League Baseball consists of 30 teams spread across the United States and Canada, and has been around in some form since the 1860s. Now MLB consists of two smaller leagues of 15 teams each, known as the National League and American League. In today's game, these two leagues aren't all that different from say, the Eastern and Western Conferences and the NBA or NHL. They're just subdivisions of the league. So why not call them conferences? Well this goes back to the roots of Major League Baseball. The National League, also known as the NL, was formed in 1876. There were several different baseball leagues at the time, but the NL reigned supreme. The American League, or AL, was founded in 1901 and was seen as a rival league to the NL. Prior to 1903, the two leagues made peace and would run independently from one another, with the winner from each league facing off in the World Series. While there has been one commissioner overseeing both leagues since 1920, the AL and NL were separate legal entities until 2000. And that brings us back to present day, where the two leagues are just historical subdivisions for MLB. The one major difference is that the American League uses a designated hitter in place of a pitcher hitting in the lineup, while the National League has the pitcher hit. Now that we've covered the two leagues, let's break them down further. Each league has three divisions based on geographical location, East, Central, and West. Each division has five teams. These divisions are where rivalries exist. You play the teams in your division the most, and the winner of each division automatically qualifies for the postseason or playoffs. So now, you should have a basic understanding of the structure of Major League Baseball. To recap, there are 30 teams divided into two smaller leagues or conferences of 15 teams each. Each league is then divided into three geographical divisions of five teams each, giving us six total divisions. If you found this video useful, be sure to like and share, and remember to subscribe to Out of Here Baseball so you don't miss any future uploads. Thanks for watching.